Yes, um, hello to all the uh, human and social biology students across the Caribbean. Of course, um, straight biology and also integrated sense. Now, um, for today's episode, I will be doing, of course, a continuation of the movement of substances across cell membrane. Um, the last class I looked at diffusion. Now I will be looking at, of course, um, osmosis. So, of course, um, diffusion again is a movement of substances from a place of lower concentration to a place, from a place of higher concentration, I should say, to a place of lower concentration until what is known as equilibrium, of course, is reached. So, um, osmosis is what I will be looking at today. And, um, as you can see, osmosis is a special case of, um, diffusion, of course. So, um, the same principle that governs um, osmosis, of course, is the same principle that governs um, the fusion. Osmosis involves the movement of water through a partially permeable um, membrane. So um, that's the main difference between osmosis and diffusion in that diffusion is normally the movement of um, molecules, substance, um, gas or particles while osmosis on the other hand is of course a movement of water fluid or of course um, liquid. So that's the main difference between osmosis and diffusion. Um, this section which said that uh, movement of water through a partially permeable membrane, what that simply means is that <laughs> the cell membrane of a particular cell it is um, semi-permeable, selectively permeable, or if you want to say I'm um, partly permeable. That simply means that um, this particular membrane will only allow some substances to actually um, go across. Or it will, of course, um, select what um, it's going to allow to enter or leave um, the cell membrane, I should say. Um, this means that only some substances can pass through, and that's why, again, some text look rather than having um, partially permeable, they would, of course, have um, selectively permeable. Small molecules such as water can pass through, but larger molecules uh, most definitely cannot. Um, looking at the diagram here, this is a perfect diagram, as you can see in the middle there, you have the selectively permeable membrane, that's the green section there. Concentrated glucose solution, that's the yellow, um, glucose molecules um, there. So on this side, they are saying that there are few water molecules on this side of the membrane, and therefore, few water molecules pass from left to right. On this side, now, there are more water molecules on this side of the membrane, therefore, more water molecules pass from right to left. So you'll be having um, the water moving across there. Um, it is the blue that represent um, the water molecules. As you can see, there is much more on the right hand side here. So of course, it will, it will be moving to this side. Um, you can also use dilute and concentrated solution to explain um, osmosis in that water normally move from more dilute. Dilute mean that it contain more water to a more concentrated solution which would have to be on this side here. As you can see, the yellow represent um, the concentrated solution, which would be um, the glucose or the sugar. If you should count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And on the right hand side, you have um, only 5 um, glucose there. So that simply means that this side, which of course is the right side, is more dilute. Um, in terms of water concentration. So you can also define um, osmosis in that it is a movement of water from a dilute to a more concentrated solution and of course you're good to go in terms of you coming up with a perfect definition for osmosis. Osmosis is water moving from a region where its concentration is high and again in the bracket there in a dilute solution to where its concentration is low and in bracket they are defining or making it much more simple for you where they are saying to a more concentrated um, solution. Um, cell in water now. No. What would happen if you place or put um, a plant cell in water for example? When you place a cell in water, water will enter the cell by osmosis. So that simply means that inside the cell there is less water. So water would enter 
are, are go through the cell membrane by of course that process that is known as um, osmosis. The cell will become turgid or if you want to use the layman term which of course is um, stiff. Animal cells will swell up and burst if too much water enter um, the cell. The strong cell, um, cell wall that of course would be um, plant cell stop plant cell from bursting when water enters. So that's a main difference between plant cell and animal cell and this is a large vacuole you will find in um, plant cell and plant cell of course need a large vacuole simple because um, the vacuole is what holds or store the water and plants most definitely gonna need more water than human being for example so that should tell you why plant cell need a cell wall a strong outer cell wall to of course offer protection surrounding the inner cell membrane right there cell in concentrated solution now what would happen if you put a cell in concentrated solution for example um you put the june plum in the bag with some salt that would be you putting um the june plum cells in concentrated solution and you will notice that um when you put the june plum in the bag that would contain the salt after a few minutes the bag become watery that is simple because water will leave um, the cell of that June plum and of course uh, making that concentrated salt uh, much more um, dilute. On the slide you are seeing here, water will leave the cell by osmosis. Um, animal cell will shrink and they are, they are giving you some examples of some um, animal cells here that seems to be um, shrink. In plant cell, the strong cell wall will st will stay the same. So you're not gonna find um the plant cell, for example, here um shrinking in terms of the cell wall. It's only the inner section here, which of course the cell membrane now would of course move inwards from the cell wall, but the cell wall will still um stay stiff there in terms of being turgid or much more rigid. The inside of the cell shrinks away from the cell wall and that is what you're definitely um seeing right here and you can describe this cell by saying that it is what is known as plasmalize so um that should do it um for today's class again um we looked at um osmosis and again osmosis is a movement of water from a dilute to a more concentrated um solution um linking osmosis with diffusion osmosis is considered to be a special case of diffusion simply because the same principle that governs on diffusion is the same principle that of course um govern osmosis it is just that osmosis deal with the movement of water fluid while um diffusion deal with the movement of particles substances or of course um gas so um stay tuned please for um the next um episode which i will be looking at active transport of course and um thanks guys for viewing now please remember to, to click on the subscription button if you're new to my, to my channel and um, please remember that you need to share the, um, these videos with your classmates, with of course um, your teachers, just about anybody who want to pass human and social biology, integrated science or of course um, straight biology. So see you next time. Thanks for viewing. Your teacher is out of here.